Hi, today we're looking at an ICOM IC7000. Um, it also comes with the LDG AT7000 tuner for HF up to 6 meters. It also comes with an external monitor, which that in itself is very nice. This is a real nice package. This was um, from an estate from one of my friends that passed away. It's been sitting on the shelf for about six months, and what ended up happening was I uh, hooked it up for about a month to make sure it works, and it does. Uh, we got the manuals for the tuner, for the uh, TV, and for the ICOM itself. You got the ICOM box, you got the tuner box, you got mounting brackets, mobile brackets, you got everything. Uh, I'm going to be taking individual pictures of all this stuff. But we're going to show the radio in action here. Okay, so uh, I got somebody sitting out here on the other end to do some testing. I'm on a wire antenna. I'm on a wire antenna, so I'm a little bit compromised here. Uh, we're going to be only be able to talk on a couple bands. We're going to show that the tuner is working on HF. Uh, I am going to have a second video where it's showing it with a dummy load that it's actually doing full output on all bands. So uh, please be confident uh, that you're getting an operational radio. So again, one more time, you're going to get the LDG AT7000 tuner for HF up to 6 meters. The radio, the detachable face, stock microphone, the TV monitor, the external monitor, which that is awesome in itself. Uh, you're going to get a, a real nice cord that's double fused. The manuals and all the boxes that you see so we're going to test uh we're going to test 440 we're going to test two meters we're going to go on a repeater on simplex uh we're going to test 10 meters fm we're going to test lower sideband on 80 meters and i'm pretty limited right there because i only have a wire i have a horizontal wire so let's go ahead and let's get a hold of the local out here and uh let's see um What's going on? W9MRB, and I assess you. W9MRB, go ahead, Bill. Hi, Mike. You were showing off the IC7000. I give a little preview, a little uh, speech on it, and I'm showing the external monitor right now, and I'm going to unkey where they could see that it's going to show that it's unkeying. The S meter is going to go off. Go ahead, Mike. How does this radio sound? Yeah, I really like this external meter here. I uh, just hooked it up today, and I explained that this radio has been sitting on the shelf for about six months, and it came from a silent key from an estate. And uh, actually, it's not even an estate as uh, a friend. So um, I, I know the owner that had it before me, uh, before I obtained it. Okay, we're on 446.000. We're on the um, UHF calling frequency. And uh, you can hear, I don't know if you can hear, but the fan is actually running so it can cool off the radio so the fan is working um why don't we um take it over to uh just repeater mike so we can show it works on a repeater qsy and nssu okay so let's go ahead and there so you can actually see it in action downtown he's got a convention at mccormick place he's working okay there's somebody talking on one of the repeaters it's it's six o'clock time here, so. W9MRB N9SSU. Yes, sir, go ahead. Okay, so we're on a repeater. Uh, we're passing audio. You can hear me. The audio is being received. Uh, why don't we take it to, why don't we take it to 146.550, which is um, a simplex frequency on two meters. Okay, uh, QSY and INSSU. So let's go ahead and let's go to VFO. Enter 146.550. Enter. Yep, I did that wrong. 140. Did that wrong. Enter 146.550. There we go. Enter. And let me turn the preamp off. W9MRB and 9SSU. I hear you. This is W9MRB. Okay, so we're on 
Hi, Mike. Appreciate it. Let's go to, let's go a little bit of six meters. Let's go to six meters. Let's go to 50.3 FM. Okay. We're clear. Have you not heard me? QSY-99SSU. Okay, for this, what we're going to end up doing is we're going to end up using the antenna tuner. So let's go to, let's get a shot of both. Okay. Sorry about that. One-handed operation. Okay. Enter. Five zero three zero 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 zero. Enter. Turn the preamp off. Go to FM. Center of the frequency. Let's show the tuner working. Okay. See it a little bit easier here. Tuner off. Okay. W9MRB and 9 ssu I hear you. W9MRB. Hi, Mikey. We're on 50.300 FM and I showed the antenna tuner working. Appreciate it. Let's go to 29.6 FM. 29.6 FM. QSY and 9 ssu So if anybody's listening out there, they know where we're going. 29.6 Zero 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 zero. Enter. Turn the preamp off. Tuner. Okay, it tuned in pretty quickly. W9MRB and I Let me turn the preamp on. Turn the preamp on. Why don't you talk one more time, Mike? Thank you. Okay, the preamp does work, and I turned it on. Let me turn it off here so we can see the difference. Okay, now I'm so you went down to a 5, to an S5. Okay, so uh, why don't we shoot over to 3.900 lower sideband? QSY, NINSSU. Okay, so let's go to HF here. Uh, 3, 9, 0, 0, 0. Enter. Let me go ahead and turn the preamp off. Press B. Let me hit the tuner. W9 number BN9 SSU. Mikey, your audio is clipping a little bit. Sounds like you got a ground loop or you got the audio a little bit too high. So if you want to turn it down just a tad. He's got a ground loop really bad on that radio. He's a blind ham. He's visually challenged, so he's still learning how to tune up his radio. Um, I'm going to have him do it one more time. Yeah, Mikey, try turning it down. Uh, try turning the compression off and turn the audio down the way we had it before. You sound better here. Why do you um, let me unplug the uh, the monitor here because I got it plugged into a wall ward so the batteries could charge. Try one more time. Much better this time, Mike. Much better. But yeah, we're dead on three dot nine zero 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 zero. I did not have to tune you in. Uh, I hear you great. It sounds great. Um, I really like this radio. I wish I could keep it, but I can't. So uh, the tuner does work. Uh, let me show the tuner working one more time. Hold on, Mike. So tuner off. Okay. And if you can see the bottom, the bottom shows SWR. The SWR is like barely over one to one. One dot one to one. So let me turn it off and show the difference. Okay, there's not much yet. You can see the difference. Hi, Mike. I really appreciate the uh, the check and uh, showing off this fine ICOM IC7000 with the LD Geotronics AT7000 tuner, which worked on uh, 6 meters, 10 meters, and 80 meters right here. We're on a compromised horizontal antenna, so I really can't show off any other bands. And the external monitor, which... I show unplugged and it's still working. 
so uh, it does hold a charge after it charges for a bit. Hi, right, Mike. I'm going to bid you 73. Thank you for all your help. W9MRB on NSSU. Hey, you got a good radio there. Whoever gets it will be happy. Take care, Billy. Talk to you later. 73. Sorry, Billy. Trouble I had here. I'll get that resolved too. W9MRB, sir. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, just for yucks, I'm going to go ahead to the AM broadcast band and show that um, it does work. Uh, let's go. Enter one zero 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 zero. Enter. I'll watch the game. It's no, AM one thousand. Watch it. be watching something else. Yeah, some bad reality television show. No, actually, here's here's the BFO working. Or by their apparent. There's a weak AM station. There's WLSAM. Exactly right. These right wing people that talk about. He pointed to make sure it was 21. There you go, AM 780. So, the preamp works here too, even though you don't need it. Direct entry. You can hear the time station. Put the microphone on the radio directly so you can hear it a little bit better. So that's the radio right there. Uh, I'm going to take another video to show the power output. And there's 15 megahertz, just so you can hear it's a little bit clearer. That's with the preamp on, with the preamp off. So bid in confidence. Thank you for watching.